Hello everyone. I want to share with you a little bit of frustration that I had recently using Navisworks and Revit. And I don't want you to have the same frustration as me. So I'll demonstrate to you what I've done. And then uh, hopefully you don't have to go through the, through the same confusion as me. All right, so what I've got open here is Revit 2020. There's a structural column. And on that structural column, what I'd like to do is to add the um, classification code using the BIM interoperability tools. If you haven't seen this before, try it out. It's fantastic. You set it up. You can choose the uh, code that you want to assign. And then if you have an element, then you can assign that property also using the BIM interoperability tools. And depending on which system you're choosing, there you can see what's available for your classification. Right. Now, I've already done this for this column, and what you'll see is some of the parameters within the type properties have been assigned. If I scroll down the list, there we go. All right, so, for instance, B10, it's superstructure. Okay. And that's all great, and then most of you, or a lot of you, would be aware you can then go to your add ins. And your external tools, there's the Navisworks 2020 file exporter. And over here, there's some settings that you can choose. If we look under the Navisworks settings, there we can see that the file readers, and over here we can convert element properties, yes. Um, and there's a few other settings here that, that you can play with, but that is an important one. So the properties are going to write through into Navisworks. And once you've done that, I won't do it now, but once you've done that, you write it out as an NWC file or a Navisworks cache file. In my case, I write it out into a BIM 360 directory. And then this is the other side of the equation in Navisworks. Um, this NWC file, I've already saved it out as an NWF file which is now referencing that NWC file and every time that I update the NWC file the NWF file updates and here I can see is the model now when I click on an element I would expect to see the Revit type properties but I see nothing All right. now unless you read the manual you're not going to know what to do and it's kind of frustrating because you want to inspect some of these elements and then maybe also find them using some other category. Now at least you can input that you would like to use the, uh, the element or the, or the Revit type properties and you'd be able to assign them and select them. But it's still frustrating when you look at the properties window, what is it that you are seeing? And I struggled and struggled and struggled with this until I eventually discovered, well, it's actually as simple as just right clicking on that element and then setting to which level must the resolution be. So currently it's set to select the resolution to layer. And that is going to correspond to the tree over here. So instead of pointing to the object, it's pointing to the layer. And that layer doesn't have the properties that we want. So what we do, we set that to say the first object, in which case it's going to now, on selection, show us some more properties. And part of those properties are going to be the Revit type properties. And this is where the type properties of the element is going to show up. Um, here we can see the... And this is a bit frustrating because you're not able to organize these alphabetically. So you must have a look around. And there we can see, there we go, the, unit, the uniformat 2 number is a B10. All right. And this is one of my frustrations. Um, which currently I do not have a solution for is how would one go about ordering these properties alphabetically. But there you can now see the property that you're interested in, including also if you're interested in the Revit element. There we can see the properties of the Revit element. So if you get into the same situation with Navisworks and you can't see the properties that you would like to see, keep in the back of your mind you can set the selection resolution using these settings over here. Right. Depending on what you set it to, you'll see different properties display. So if you click on an element over there, you can see it's selecting the entire file 
and there it is giving me the properties of that file change the resolution to layer then click on the layer now it's giving me the layer properties change the resolution to first object there's the object properties you can also choose last object or to geometry which of course would be the element that you are clicking on the geometry of that element Right, so don't be confused if you don't see the properties that you want. Set the selection resolution in Navisworks. Well, I hope this has been of help to you. Enjoy using Autodesk Revit for your modeling and Autodesk Navisworks for clash detection and 5D scheduling. Until next time.